Hello and welcome. My name is Mark. This is Riffle Shuffle and Roll, and today I bring you a card game called Vadrasso, a new trick taker for two players from designer Sean Ross. If it's your first time visiting the channel, be sure to hit subscribe and the bell so you're notified about new games every week. Vadrasso is a two player trick taking game that utilizes straw men cards. And what this means is that players will not only have cards in their hands, but they will also have a row of cards that they can play from during the game. Those cards can be seen by both them and their opponent. Each player will also be able to take some control over how the hand plays, as one player will choose a trump suit and the other will choose a trump rank. The trump rank becomes the most powerful cards for that hand. All right, with all that in mind, let's dive in and learn how to play Vadrasso. All you need to play is a standard 52 card deck that we're gonna cut down to 36 cards and a way to keep score. To cut the deck down to the 36 cards needed, you're gonna keep aces through nines. Now in this game, nines are the lowest ranking card and aces are the highest. So within the same suit, an eight would be a nine, a seven would be an eight, a six would be a seven, and so on. To determine the first dealer, each player should cut the deck. Whoever cuts the lowest card deals first. You're going to deal each player their strawman first. To begin, give each player five cards face down in a row. Then deal another row of five cards face up on top of the face down row. Each of these little piles is a straw man. Finally, deal eight cards to each player. These eight cards form that player's hand. The straw men will be visible to both players, but the hand should be kept secret from the opponent. Now it is time to pick the trump suit and the trump rank. For the first round, the non-dealer gets to choose first, and they can pick either one. If they wanna pick the trump rank, they can do it. If they wanna pick the trump suit, they can do that. For future rounds, whoever has the lowest score gets to pick first. For this example, we're gonna play that the dealer is here at the bottom of the screen. So player two up at the top of the screen gets to pick first, and they are gonna pick hearts as the trump suit. So then now player one gets to pick the trump rank, and they are going to pick sevens. Let's go ahead and take a look at the deck structure now that the trump suit and the trump rank have been picked. This is the ranking of the entire deck from low to high. Sevens were picked as the trump rank. They are the highest ranking cards in the deck for the round. Any seven beats any card from the trump suit on down. Hearts were picked as the trump suit, so they are the most powerful suit in the game. Any heart beats any other card from the other three suits. Please remember that cards in the trump rank still belong to their suit. So the seven of hearts still counts as a heart. And there is one specific circumstance where that will matter. After Trump has been established, each player will choose one card from their hand to give to their opponent. This is the gift card. The gift card that is chosen is placed face down in the opponent's capture pile. The player should not look at the card they were given. When players capture tricks, those captured cards are placed face down in the capture pile. Now setup is complete and the game can begin. The non-dealer gets to lead the first trick. They can play any card from their hand or from their strawman row. Player two leads the first trick with the four of clubs from their hand. If player one can follow suit, they may do so or play a trump card. That would be a card in the heart suit or a seven. If player one cannot follow suit, they can play any other card. Player one can play a card from their strawman or their hand. They have a five of clubs in their strawman row, and they also have the ace of clubs in their hand. If they don't wanna play either of those, they do have some trump options as well. They're gonna go ahead and play their ace of clubs to the trick. The highest ranking card in the suit that was led or the highest trump card wins the trick. So the ace of clubs wins the trick. 
Player one collects the cards and places them face down in their score pile. The trick winner leads next. So player one will lead the next trick with the ace of diamonds. Player two, if they can follow suit, they can play a diamond or any trump card. If they can't follow suit, they may play any other card. Player two does not have any diamonds in their strawman row, and they do not have any diamonds in their hand. So they can play off suit, or they can play a trump card. They are gonna play their eight of hearts. This is a trump suited card, so the eight of hearts wins the trick. The cards are collected and placed face down in their capture pile. If there are any exposed face down strawman cards, at the end of the trick, those cards are flipped over. The next trick cannot begin until any face down cards are flipped face up. As the round continues, players will begin to run out of cards. It is possible for a player to have no strawman cards, but still have cards in their hand or vice versa. When the final trick is played, the round ends and it's time to tally up your score. Let's say player one leads with the four of clubs. Player two has two options. They can either follow suit or trump the card with a card from the trump suit or the trump rank. If the player can't follow suit, they can play any card. So for this first example, let's say they had a club and they decide to play it. In this case, the highest ranking card in the suit that's led wins the trick. The two is higher ranked and it wins the trick. Next, let's see what happens when a four is led and the player decides to play a trump card. For this example, they play the trump suited four. Well, the highest card in the suit that is led or the highest trump card takes the trick. The four of hearts wins the trick. If player one leads the four and player two does not have a club and doesn't wanna play trump, they can play off suit. So they throw the nine of diamonds. In this case, the highest card in the suit that is led takes the trick and they capture the nine of diamonds. If player one leads with a card from the trump suit, then again, player two can either follow suit or play a trump rank card, any card from trump. So if they play the seven of clubs, the seven is trump rank, which is higher than the trump suit, and the seven takes the trick. If player one leads the trick with a card from the trump rank, and player two also plays a card from the trump rank, it is the second card that wins. So the seven of clubs wins the trick and player two gets it. Let's say player one leads with the nine of diamonds and player two does not have any diamonds or any other trump card, but the seven of diamonds. This is the trump rank and they have to play it because the seven of diamonds is still considered part of the diamond suit. So they couldn't play any other diamond and they didn't have any other trump cards. No hearts, no other sevens. So they had to play this. And the seven wins the trick. Players will earn points for the cards they captured. Each card's value is equal to the number on the card. Nines are worth nine points, eights are worth eight, and so on with aces being worth one point. Each player tallies up their score based on the cards that they capture. And that includes the gift card that was given to each player at the beginning of the game. There are 180 points possible each round. After you've added up your scores, collect the cards, deal alternates each round. Continue playing rounds until one player has reached 300 points or more. And that is Vidrasso an excellent little trick taker for two players. Now, what I find very special about this game is the combination of using the strawman, choosing the trump suit, and choosing the trump rank. I think all those little ingredients make for a game that sits perfectly in the middle between luck and skill. Not only do you have a lot of known information with the face-up cards in the strawman rows, but you also have the unknown of what's hidden down below. You've given a gift card to your opponent 
So there's a little more information that you don't know, kind of like cards left in a kitty. Those things combined with that control of choosing the Trump suit or the Trump rank, just make this a really nice recipe for a fun game. It's just puzzly enough to make a player stop and think about what they're about to play. If there are a lot of cards still out in the strawman rows, then you can do a little analysis and kind of puzzle out what might still be out there and what card you should play next. So it's got just the right mix for me. This is definitely one of my favorite two-player trick-taking games out there. Be sure to go to riffleshuffleandroll.com to find a printable PDF of how to play this game. There's also a downloadable file for the playingcards.io room. Well, that is it for now. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep on playing.